Okay, in this video, we're going to create our last method in this section. The method is called uh, set text style to object. So let's start creating our method. Public sub set text style to object. And our command method is also set text style to object. Okay, so we need, let me just copy this over because it has all the, the, the line of code that we need except for this. So now we have our code block. We have the document object, we have the database, and we have the transaction. So the objective of this method is to create a new mText object and assign the text style into that newly created text object. So do you recall how to create an mText? Before we can even start creating an object, we need to get hold of the block table and the block table record. So let's start doing it now. Dim bt as block table equals, it comes from the transaction, get object. The the block uh, ID, I mean the object ID will be coming from the database that block table ID and open mode that for read. Next we need to get the block table record. So dim btr as block table record equals trans that get object. And our object ID will be the, the block table. The block table record that model space. And that would be open mode for write. Because we are adding a new object and we will be appending the new object into the block table record. So now let's create a new M text. We will use the using statement mtx as mtext equals new mtext and what are the the properties of an mtext that are required the first one is the contents that means the text the text string and also the, the location, which is the insertion point. And also the text height. And finally, the text style ID. So let us uh, define the, the point, the insertion point. Dim ins pt as point uh, 3D equals new point 3D. Let's just insert it in 0, 0. And now let's define the content. Let's just say here, hello AutoCAD. And now let's define the text height. Text height. Let's give it a 9. And our location would be our insertion point here. And, and finally, the text style ID. So mtx the text style ID. That would be whatever is in the the current database the text style. Whatever is the active in the drawing. And now, of course, we need to append this newly created mtext into our block table record. So btr that append entity our mtx and of course we need to add into the transaction the newly created mtext 
and commit the transaction. So that should be all for our code. We have created the document object, the database, the transaction, the block table and the block table record. Then we created the M text, specified all the required uh, properties and values and then appended to block table record and added into the transaction and then commit the transaction. Let us save our project and do a rebuild. Oops, let's do another rebuild. Okay, now let us open AutoCAD. Alright, let us load our plugin. Let me just zoom in in this area because this is where we're going to write the new, I mean create the new M text. So let us run our new method set text style to object. There you go. Hello AutoCAD. Let us list out this uh, M text. We have the style which is title block and all the properties that we specify the height with 9 and the insertion point at 0, 0. And of course the text string hello AutoCAD. Yep, so if let's say the architect is the current uh, style, we can just get rid of this and we run our uh, method again. Here you go. So that <coughs> completes our section. So in this section, we have explored the layers the line types and the text styles. Uh, go through each of the, the methods that we have developed and you know, test them out. Be familiar with all the, the specific uh, line of code that is, uh, is specific to each method. Familiarize yourself how we manipulate the, the objects for each of these layers, the line types, and the text styles. Okay, so this concludes this uh, section. Uh, in our next section, we will be exploring the user input functions. I'll see you there.